Hello students, today we are going to verify the Euler's formula. Let us introduce what are dimensions. What is this? A point or a dot. It is assumed that a dot is of no dimension. Let us take two points. We know that a line can be drawn passing through these two points and which is of one dimension. Let us take three non-collinear points and a two dimensional figure can be drawn which is a triangle. So joining the second and the third. So this is nothing but a triangle. Let us take four points. Is it possible to make an object? Yes, and an object is tetrahedon, which is of three dimension. Now, let us take some concrete objects. What is this? A cube. When we cut this cube, say suppose from this first side, what we get? Let us cut with the help of this cutter. If we cut this first side, we get this one leaf. Then from the second side, this second portion and when the third side, as you can see, what is formed? a net. So, as you can see, this is nothing but a net of a cube. Can you count the number of faces, edges and vertices? Question arises, what are faces? As you can see, these are polygonal faces or we can say the polygonal regions are nothing but faces. And in this one of the polygonal face, how many corners are there? 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, in this polygonal face, how many vertices are there? 1, 2, 3 and 4. And when we meet these two polygonal faces, a line segment which is 1, 2 is formed and this line segment is nothing but an edge. So, can you count now how many faces, edges and vertices are there in a cube? So, how many faces are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. This 5 and 6 is nothing but the bottom and the topmost face. Now, so what we get is faces, where f is denoting the number of faces, which is equal to how many? Let us again count it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. 6. Now, let us count edges. Let us denote it with E. Now, as we can see, this vertex, the polygonal vertices 1, 2, 3, 4 and this vertex 1 and 2 is forming a line segment. In this fifth polygonal face again, 1 and 2 is forming a line segment and when we intersect or we can say meet, a line segment which is an edge of a cube is formed. So, First edge is 1, 2. Similarly, when we meet second and fifth face, second edge, fourth and third face, third edge, fifth and fourth face, this is fourth edge, fourth and sixth face, fifth edge. Now, as you can see, we have already counted how many edges? 5 edges 1, 2, 
3, 4 and 5. Now, this polygonal phase which is the first phase and the fourth phase intersect as you can see is again second and third this edge. So, which number is this edge? As you can say this is sixth one. Now, the first and second, seventh, five and eight, eighth and also we can see sixth and seventh is the ninth one, nine. Now, we can see these are nine edges of form and when we cover this topmost face, how many edges we are getting? Nine, we were getting nine before, now 10, 11 and 12. So, how many total number of edges are there in a cube? Let us count once again. As you can see, this is forming a cube. 1, 2, 3 and 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So, how many edges are there in a cube? 12 edges and we know that when these edges intersect at a common point a vertex is formed. So, what is the vertex of a cube? As you can see 1, 2 and 3. These three edges are intersecting at a common point which is known as vertex and which is named as 5. So, this fifth point is known as a vertex. So, similarly how many vertices are there in a cube? Count them. 1, 2, 3. These three edges are meeting at this common point. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. As you can see, this leaf again, three edges are intersecting at this common point. What was the counting? 4 were the bottom, then gives out you 5, 6, 7, and 8. So, how many vertices are there in a cube? Let us denote it with V. It is 8. Let us take another example. What is this? As we have already discussed, this is nothing but a tetrahedon. And again, if we cut this, a net is formed of this shape. Now, with the help of this net, now can you count the number of faces, edges and vertices? Let us count it. 1, 2, 3 and 4. These are the number of faces. So, let us denote it with F1. So, how many number of faces? 4. Now, edges, let us denote it with E1. How many number of edges? Again, you can see that this polygonal face or let us see in this only. 1 and 4 intersecting the polygonal region, this, this and these, these four polygonal regions and when we intersect this polygonal region, this line segment where the polygonal regions has three corners 1, 4 and 2. So, 1, 2, 3. Again, as you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, what are these? 6 are the number of edges or we can say total number of edges in a tetrahedon are 6. Now, vertices. Let us denote it with V1. This was a tetrahedon. This edges are meeting at again a common point. So, how many vertices are there? 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, vertices are 4. Can you observe any relation from these two examples. See this. In first example, if we add vertices in faces and subtract edges in it, we get 6 plus 8 minus 12. As we know, 6 plus 8 is 14 minus 12, which is equal to 2. Again, see in the example 2, faces, edges and vertices. Again, what we have to do is, in faces, we have to add the number of vertices and then from the sum, we have to subtract 
the edges. What we get is 4 plus 4 minus 6 which is 8 minus 6 again comes out to be 2. You can see that this is nothing but the Euler's formula. This was introduced by Euler. Thus, what we can say that the Euler's formula is f plus v minus e is equal to 2, where f is the number of faces, v is number of vertices and e is number of edges. Now, you can yourself explore some of the examples within help of an activity, for example, hexagon, cuboid, sphere and cylinder and verify whether Euler's formula is satisfied or not. Thank you.